can hear, some of us feel, some of us have clear smelling. I have clear, I have, I have clear smelling. It's the weirdest thing in the world. I, I, I have clear, I just like that you said it was cute. You're like a little kid suddenly. <laughs> well, this, this is the fact that no one ever talks about smell it. Smell roses in the room and, that, and well, this, that's a certain entity. It demons it? apparently have a horrible smell. It's, um. What, everybody doesn't have that? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's um the ability to um interpret vibrational frequency that is in a higher dimensional level like ghosts that's what ghosts are so if some people see spirits some people can feel them some people can actually feel their emotions or how they die some people can smell them or smell things that actually are not existing on their plane it's just like these abilities are just from us having, you know, a giant antenna that's m much more powerful than someone else. So, um, clear smelling is definitely strange, I know. No, it's not. It's no, it, it, it is, though, because, like, sometimes when I'm in this house, and, you know, it's not strange, like, theoretically, but when you experience it, it is strange. Because there should, yeah. there's, <laughs> like, there's no reason why I should be smelling old lavender soap in my house when I don't have any. <laughs> Or, because, yeah, there's this old lady I was telling you. I yeah. can't remember if you smelled it or not. I want you to tell them the story about when you were sitting there and you you were in some kind of a meditation and you opened your eyes and oh, yeah, the okay. whole room was from... Okay, this house is a very special house. It's, it's very, has a very magical energy sort of to it. And it's very conductive to, like, meditation and, like, opening your abilities. I don't know why. It's just charged for some reason. And I was meditating on the couch, and I was just kind of coming out of it, just opening my eyes. And as I opened my eyes, I looked around the room, and it was not my house. It was my house, you know, like, uh, like maybe a hundred years ago. It was like, bizarre, and there was like a piano in there, and the walls were different. And like, I just was, it was like I, I time traveled, and I was just sitting in my house in a different time and it's, it's ha things like that have actually happened a couple times where realities have sort of merged I also will smell um, upstairs in the spare bedroom there's this smell of really old soap like old soap like your grandmother would use like they, they don't make it anymore <laughs> like I'm certain of it and uh, I would smell it upstairs and no matter what I do I can't get the smell out of it up there I've surrendered at this point and I, I, I'm in my bath I'm in the kitchen over there and just this waft of that soap will go by, go, will go through the house, and there's no reason why I should be smelling this. That's Claire smelling. And the door, and the door. Oh yeah, and the door. I guess we could do a whole video about the house, but the door, <laughs> we, the door has no doorknob, it doesn't even work. We, we found it full on open before, um, when it should not have been. We were on Christmas vacation, actually, which is. Didn't have a board going across it, too? It did. <laughs> it did, found it open. And nothing okay. was stolen from Why, the house. Nothing was stolen. Just wide open door in the middle of winter time while we're on vacation. Jeez. You know? Yeah. No so, one even went in or even noticed this house, too. It seems like yeah, they would, you'd think they would, oh, that door's wide open. It's been open for quite some time. I've been driving by. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, we don't know how long it had been open for, but... Uh, and it's scared. Every time at four, is it? And he comes through yeah, that, that the, door? Yeah, there's something that walks through the house. Um, at the same time every day, if you're in here, sometimes it's more obvious than others, but if you're sensitive, you can tell. Yeah, it's, there's lots of different little stories, ghost dog and whatever. Yeah, so yeah, the dog just... won't go upstairs because of the ghost dog that has its territory up there. Mm -hmm. But not scary ghosts, they don't like, bleh, scare you, it's, they're just chill, they just coexist. They're just like, please don't startle, don't surprise don't me with a sitting on... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's, but, and I think that it's so strong in this house that even people without abilities will sense things. So maybe we'll sense something, maybe something will appear on video tonight. Yeah, that's a possibility. It happened before. Was that with you that was filming? Mm -hmm. that's, that, that you saw the ghost dog? Was that? I'm not sure. No, that was, no, that, that, was Christ, that was Christine and Ed. Yeah. This, this, this wonderful camera, no matter what I point it at, never gives me EVP or ghosts or anything. My cell phone camera. So far. so far. So far. So far. Continue. I'm gonna just look. It's it's a debate inside the debate, but but a lot of what I see on the internet, um, it's like it's like let's put the Bill Bilderbergs in in the jail. It's, it's like let's get those Illuminati. But but the the debate that I see is the problem is not 
to hate them because that gives them energy. Um, the, is the problem the fact that the human race will not wake up two or three or four or five percent, or is it? I mean, I mean, if you're going to, going to sit there and let somebody control you, is it your fault or is it the Illuminati's? And and I, I I see all these people. I mean, I envision all these people going with hatchets after the Illuminati, and it's, it's like it's like you're doing it the wrong way. It's like it's it's inside of us. We have to change inside. The, the kingdom Absolutely. of God is within. Absolutely, I think that that's something. I think people can get really riled up and angry about the Illuminati. But realistically, the Illuminati feeds on a certain level of energy, and that level of energy is fear. So yeah. if you are existing in that level of energy, you're contributing to something that they can actually feed off of. And um, if the less angry you are, the less fearful you are, the less um, low vibrational emotions you hold in your body, they can't survive. It is literally like trying to bake a cake in an oven that's at 100 degrees. The cake doesn't bake. The Illuminati cannot exist. So there's no point in getting angry at the, the Illuminati. There's no point in, in, in worrying about, oh my God, how many people are going to wake up? When is everyone going to wake up? When are they going to stop controlling? When are we going to, when am I in my life going to stop controlling? You know, when are we going to stop acting like the Illuminati so they can stop existing? That's the real question. So we have to take responsibility and stop, you know, being them.